Hello students, welcome to lecture of kinematics and theory of machine. Myself, Professor Silas Patel. We are going to continue our chapter gear and it is the last theory of this chapter and after that we will complete uh, example based on this topic also. So today we will uh, we will learn interference in an involute gear. Okay, which is very important. Okay, let's start. Okay, our next topic is interference in involute gears. The phenomena when the tip of the tooth undercut the root on its mating gear is known as interference. So first of all check what is the interference and how it affect the working of gear. So you can see here the profile is modified and there is a curvature is added. So this tip of the teeth not cut the this uh, root of the mating gear. So check this definition again the phenomena when the tip of the tooth undercut the root of matting gear. So you can see here the tip of the this tooth is undercutting this key, uh, root of the gear. So it is known as a interference and also undercutting. So we will uh, from this theory we will define the what is the minimum number of teeth required to avoid this interference and how we can avoid this so first of all we have to we you know uh, you can see that means what is the we have to find what is the maximum addendum if we decrease the addendum in this gear the length will be less and this cutting will be less and we can decrease by this uh, finding the value of addendum okay so it is let's start so this is the old figure for the length of path of contact you know that this is the length of addendum but what will be the maximum addendum can be possible this addendum circle you can see here but what can be the maximum addendum the maximum addendum is can be possible up to the point m okay and if you increase the addendum length more than m then there will be interference so first of all we have to find the what is the length can be po possible maximum addendum length we have to find this maximum up to so our contact point our point of engagement will become at a m and n so length of path of contact for maximum possible addendum will be mn we have already find this kl value but it is the uh, normal value but what is the maximum can be length of path of contact will be up to this this mn will be maximum possible length of path of so this figure you will see in a, a book and uh, first of all understand what is uh, these uh, notations there is a base circle it is a pitch circle actual circle means k point we have find the kl as a power length of path of contact for the actual addendum but what is the maximum possible addendum maximum or possible addendum circle length can be up to this point m and for this pinion that can be possible up to this so length of path of contact for maximum addendum can be this m n okay so we we, uh, we have to find this o1 n addendum radius o1 n how can we find this this o1 n so for that i am going to tell you some uh, geometrical relation for this triangle this triangle is o1 p n in O1 PN, you can say O1N is equal to under root O1P, this O1P square plus PN, PN square minus 2 O1P PN cos O1P, cos O1P, which angle? Angle of opposite side, this angle. So, this for this is from the triangle. O1 P N. 
सो ओ वन एन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू दिस ओ वन पी स्क्वायर प्लस पी एन एन स्क्वायर माइनस टू ओ वन पी पी एन कॉस ओ वन पी एन सो वॉट विल बी दिस दिस एंगल हाउ कैन फाइंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेक दिस जियोमेट्री इफ दिस एंगल इज नाइंटी सॉरी दिस एंगल इज फाइव here you can see this angle is 90 what will the what will be the angle of this this angle 90 phi then it will be 90 minus phi 90 minus phi okay so this angle will be 180 you can say this angle is a 180 minus 90 minus 5 okay so angle will be 9 180 minus 90 means 90 plus 5 okay so check this out so you can see o1p o1p where is the o1p this is the o1p it is a small r pitch radius opinion pn pn means this pn is a what you can see here the sine component sine component of pitch circle uh, pitch radius of wheel and same as a cos 90 plus 5 we have seen this so this is the relation most important relation which is uh, derived from this geometry okay so we are going to derive whole equation here check this out so first of all we have find it this o1 n r square plus capital r square sin square phi, phi minus 2 r sin phi cos 90 plus phi okay you can see there cos 90 plus phi 90 plus second quadrant and then uh, cos will be minus so minus sin phi cos 90 plus phi is equal to minus sin phi and you can see here minus will be became plus plus sin square phi so formula will be r square r square uh, capital r square sin square phi plus 2 r capital r sin square phi and from all this data you will uh, common small r square so 1 plus there is no small r square here so upon capital uh, small r square there is one r already there and you common the r square so r will be there so this is a and after that from this three from this two you are going to common r by r okay capital r by small r you will common capital r by small r so what will happen capital r by small r here and from this point r and small r is common so that's how you will get this formula from this you know that it is equal to o1 n square so what will be o1 n o1 n is equal to this is total in a root then what will happen means this r square become the r and whole term will be under root 1 plus capital r by small r under root capital r by small r plus 2 into sin square phi so finally our equation is this o1n means o1 n is equal to r is equal to mt by 2 we have put it mt by 2 under root 1 plus so capital r by small r we can write this uh, write this is equal to capital t upon small t r by r is equal to capital by you know the gear ratio because mm, you know the cap, uh, t by t is equal to small d by small t and this diameter you can as a written as a capital r 2r and this diameter can be written as a small 2 r so 2 2 will be cancel it is a gear ratio okay so this is the capital d by small t capital d by small t and
so we have find the maximum possible addendum length what is the maximum possible addendum length means o1 n is equal to you can write this maximum possible addendum so first of all we have to find the minimum number of teeth to avoid the interference so i have to explain you what is the addendum radius addendum radius you know that r a is equal to capital r plus addendum you add some addendum and addendum you know that always in a form of module means it is maybe one module two module three into module one module okay so it is always in a form of a module you will always some multiplying something with the module and you will get the addendum so in 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 case we have changed this method and we have added one constant ap so addendum will be always in a form of ap into m so addendum is equal to will be ap into m where ap is a fraction ap ap is a fraction by which standard addendum of one module means module is a multiplied by with this ap so what will be the maximum possible addendum so addendum radius minus p circle so amp so amp is equal to o1n minus o1p and both value will be added in this formula so after that mt by 2 and mt by 2 will be common from both side so mt by 2 is common here whole term is outside so it, it will become 1 okay and mt by 2 m and m is uh, eliminated only ap will remain here so ap is equal to t by 2 under root this and you know that capital t by small t is equal to g here ratio g is equal to capital t by small t okay so what will happen here so you can write the subject the whole equation as a t why because we want to find the minimum number of teeth so t is equal to becomes 2 going to this side 2 into ap and whole term will be at a below so it will become this equation and in this equation t by small t is we are putting as a g gear ratio so this is the equation of minimum number of teeth on pinion to avoid the interference what will happen if we decrease the t, uh, number of teeth like as per this equation if we find uh, 15 and if as for 15 teeth size is this because on this that radius on that radius 15 is a number of minimum teeth required to avoid the interference if i am using on i am making only 12 teeth on that gear what will happen that teeth will become larger than means on gear the, as the number of teeth increase the size of te teeth is decrease so, so as the number decrease the size will increase and larger the size possibility of interference is high okay so this is the minimum number of teeth to avoid the interference and same as you can use uh, derive for the bill okay so capital t is equal to a w here a w for the wheel 1 by g 1 by g plus 2 sine square 5 minus 1 and if g is equal to 1 what will happen if g is equal to 1 this will be 1 and 1 so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so 3 into sine square 5 and equ uh, equation becomes simple okay